my favorite dancer in the world, a very talented Charlie Williams, who appeared with me in How to Succeed in Business, gets us in the door anytime. <laughs> Thanks, John and Michelle. This is West 46th Street, also known as Restaurant Row and home to Joe Allen, a true Broadway institution. Let's check it out. So, Joe Allen, the man himself, tell me about the restaurant. When did you guys open? We opened in 1965. Tell me about the wall of flops, though. That's what you guys are also known for. In all of these shows, lost a pretty great deal of money, I'm yes. sure. If they, I <laughs> yeah. mean, some of the shows ran zero performances, exactly. right? Talking about Breakfast at Tiffany's mm. is one of those. They didn't yep. even they had open. No, uh, and that's Mary Tyler Moore. You'd Mary think Tyler that Moore, yep. That would help it out, but obviously, wah, wah, <laughs> not. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of calves' liver, but luckily for me, their burgers are just as popular. Mm. Is there a different kind of food that the performers eat versus the re the tourists or the regular people seeing the show? Most of the tourists, what they what they really like is burgers. Burgers. You know, so it's like I said, we sell hundreds of them every week. Yeah. Now this is a Broadway star. Back to you guys. Mm. Charlie, give me a bite. <laughs> we asked Charlie Williams from Broadway's How to Succeed in Business to share his tips for successful gift giving. Thanks, Lori. The holidays bring out the kid in all of us. And for us grown up kids, there is no better place than Hammock or Schlemmer for off the wall fun. <laughs> this is the robot that I remember, the Rock'em Sock'em Punch'em robots, but you guys have a little something different here, huh? Right. As usual, Hammock or Schlemmer wants to take it to another level. We also have some fun things like this the marshmallow shooter. You're locked and loaded, ready to go. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> now, now, you can't celebrate the holidays without music. And if you're like me and you like to turn it up behind the wheel, check out Beats by Dr. Dre. It's a cutting edge sound system in the Chrysler 300. Now besides hot tunes, we've also got heated front and back seats, heated steering wheel, and heated cup holders for that perfect cup of hot chocolate. Mm. Well, this has been fun. I got some great shopping ideas and I am definitely in the holiday mood. But now it's curtain time. You know, how to succeed tickets would make the perfect holiday gift. But then again, there may be a few other shows out there that you can see. We asked Charlie Williams from the cast of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying to take us backstage and to show us how it is all done. Welcome to Broadway's Al Hirschfeld Theater on West 45th Street. Now we're here eight times a week, so it's pretty much our home away from home. Come backstage and let me show you around. So this is where the magic happens. This is where 150 people come together, including stage managers, dressers. We bring together our skills and our energy to bring the curtain up every night on how to succeed. Now, as you can see, backstage may not look all that glamorous. This area directly below the stage is called the cross under, where the cast does quick changes between scenes. Basically, our family laundry room. Well, this is my famous onesie. And so I literally step into it like this, and then Tony gets to go so for dancers, our Nirvana is at the top of these six flights of stairs. Seriously, I also don't envy you for those heels. Yeah. You do the whole thing in heels. Four inch heels. I don't usually like people touching my body unless they have money. Ah, yes, no. I understand that. <laughs> no. I understand that. So as you've seen, being a Broadway dancer can be exhausting and exhilarating. Now we have a matinee, so I have to go warm up. Thanks for coming.